The National Senior and Junior Track and Field Championships gets cracking at the National Stadium this weekend, Thursday through to Sunday. But guess what? The big event for me is the women's 100 meters final that takes center stage on Friday evening. Oh, that promises to be a cracker. Now, five ladies have gone under 11 seconds so far this year in Jamaican colors. But let's not jump to the five just yet. Let's focus on some other athletes that's just around the periphery. One is Janelle Smith, who was coming back from surgery last year, around 11.28 seconds in Florida. You remember Janelle Smith winning class one girls Wilma's years back, representing Auburn and representing Jamaica on the third leg of the 4x1 in 2019, where we gained the gold. She is a competitor, a fighter, and she will be around in that women's 100 meters. Then there's Veronica Campbell Brown. Yes, in her late 30s. But there's a story behind Veronica, though. Veronica started her Olympic career in the year 2000 when she was representing Veer as a teenager and she went to the Olympic Games in 2000, run or ran only the relay. And I think, this is my opinion, that she wants to end her career in that shape or form running the relay. And you know Veronica has heart. You can't take that away from her. Yes, she's in her late 30s, heading on to 40. But she's given it one more shot. Let's see what she can do at the upcoming championships. We have watched her progression. She has gotten faster as the year has gotten older. And running 11.20 seconds in Florida recently means she may be in 11 shape when it comes on to trials or 11.10 shape. Forget about her age. Think about her heart. Then you have a young lady, Shakoria Wallace. Nobody knows much about her. She ran 11.18 seconds in Florida this year she's from the mvp camp she actually took up track of the field back in 2018 yeah 2018 she's not a young bud she's not in her teens she's not early 20s mid to late 20s but she took it up in 2018 she saw some progressive time from 12.3 going down to 11.7 then 11.18 is this another story from the mvp camp 11.18 seconds from shakoria wallace so far this season Remember, 2006, 2007, 2008, Shelly and Fraser Price? I don't know. This is another story. She's not Shelly and Fraser Price, but it's a good story, though, taking up track of the field so late in her career and um, doing well, 11.18 seconds. I expect her to run faster. She had an injury earlier this season, and she's coming back, and she looks pretty good running that 11.18. Sasha Lee Forbes from Sprintech. Um, went to the 2017 World Championship, got a bronze in the 4x1. And she has been around and from home with technical days. Maurice Wilson, trained athlete. She's going to be there in the mix. Many may say maybe the 200 is her best, best event, but maybe the 100. I don't know. It equates both ways. Then you have Ashanti Moore. 2019 girls class one winner. She's in Florida training with Coach Brahman. She ran 11.10 seconds this season, this year, her personal best. She's coming, but persons are thinking that she's coming to the national championships first time against the big wigs or the big guns, and maybe she'll be getting experience in this run or in these championships. But I don't think that's why she's coming. She's coming just to make the team. Then you have Natalia White. Hmm. Hmm. MVP international. Same as Janelle Smith. She has ran 11.07 seconds, not far from her personal best of 11.04. But expect Natalia White to be round and about in that 100 meters. Running 11.07 about a few weeks ago means that she is getting right there to her personal best and maybe going beyond the Henry Roll crew. And not to forget Sharika Jacka Jackson. Hmm. Track Nerds posted that she is down to contest the 100 meters. But they forgot about the other events she'll be contesting. I think she's down to contest the 100, 200, 400. I think she's entered in all events. So I don't know which one she'll turn up for at, at the national championships. But she did run 11.02 seconds. And if you watched my first video, you saw it. And she looked smooth. Now, she is a versatile athlete from she represented Vera Technical back in the day. You remember? You remember? She won 4-2 in her last two years in class one. Yeah. Yeah, she is versatile. And remember in 2019 when she anchored the 4x1 to gold at the World Championships? 
So we do know she has speed. We saw it at the national championships. But let's see what Coach Francis will do. Hmm. Will she enter the one? Or will she enter her pet event, the four? Ah, but she's entered in all. So let's see which one she'll turn up for. And that's it.